Hello everybody, it's Reverend Sarah here from St Philip's. It's nice to be with you again, even if it's still on the screen. And um, before we do today's um, assembly or act of worship, whatever you prefer to call it, I'm just going to light a candle. You may want to do the same way you are, but you don't have to. So the candle is lit. I'm just going to pop that down so you may not be able to see it. But I wondered today, how are you feeling? And we all know when we maybe type a text or something like that, people often put an emoji at the bottom to say how they're feeling. Now, I'm not very good at drawing, and I know that some of you are absolutely brilliant at doing that. But I've drawn a few basic emojis here. So I wonder today whether you're feeling like this. I wonder what emoji that could be. I think probably a happy one. Or maybe you're feeling a little bit like this. The Zeds feeling very tired. You may be feeling like this. This emoji makes me think of somebody being anxious, worried. And what about this one? I think this one's fairly obvious, isn't it? I'm feeling sad. And this one, this one's a bit gross, really. Yuck. The sick emoji. Somebody being poorly. So I wonder today, how are you feeling? If you had to write an emoji or text an emoji, which one would you choose? It may be that you're feeling a bit like this. You might be very happy. You might have woken up in a really good mood. You might be having your favourite food for tea. Or you might be, it might be your birthday. And you might just be feeling really, really happy. Or you might be feeling really sad because things are really difficult at the moment. It might be that you've not been able to have your favourite things for a while. Or that you're feeling sad because somebody that you know is poorly. I think a lot of us at the minute are feeling a bit like this. A bit worried and a bit anxious. When are we going to come out of lockdown? We often might be worried about people around us and anxious for when we can be with our friends and our family again. Or you might even feel like this. I often feel like this. I think it's really hard at the moment. And your parents, your carers and your teachers and all the staff at school, I'm sure they're feeling like this. They're doing an amazing job at the minute and it's really, really tiring. And I'm a bit the same. And actually, sometimes in one day, I can feel all of these things. Today, I've definitely felt a bit like that. I didn't really want to get out of bed, if I'm honest. Fortunately, I haven't felt like that today. Although when I got off the exercise bike, I nearly felt a little bit like that. I felt a bit like that today, particularly when I've thought about school and not being able to come in and see people or not being able to see my parents or see my nieces and my nephews for a long time or my friends. Although I'm also feeling a bit like that because I am grateful for the things that I have got and the good things that I do have around, even though it's really difficult. And actually, I don't know about you, but I think it's true probably for most of us, but the way that we feel inside can sometimes and very often affect the way that we act. If I feel like this and you walk past me on the road, I might say, hello, how are you? And I might be very, very happy and nice to see you and everything's okay. If I'm feeling like this, what are you like when you're tired? I think I can be a bit grumpy. Can you be a bit grumpy too when you're tired? And if somebody you know is tired, I bet your teachers are tired, just give them a bit of slack if they're a bit grumpy. Although I'm sure they're trying very hard to do their best for you. If you might be feeling worried, if you're feeling worried or anxious, very often we can, or if we're feeling like this, if we're feeling sad, it's very easy for us to go all quiet. Maybe our friends are saying, come and talk to us or come and play or have a chat online and we won't do it. We can become a little bit withdrawn. Also, when we're worried, sometimes we can be a little bit irritable. I don't know about you. I'm sure you're never irritable, but I can be when I'm a bit anxious. And I'm sure if we're all honest, we all can be a little bit. And I think particularly at the moment, our feelings are really, really important. Our feelings are not wrong. Very often when we're feeling a bit grumpy or a bit angry, we can be a bit down on ourselves. Why am I feeling like that? Our feelings are not wrong. 
Our feelings are a sign of what's going on and what's happening inside. So how are you feeling today? It might be a mixture of things. You might be the happy emoji, the tired emoji, the worried or anxious emoji. I'm hoping not the sick emoji, but you might be worried about somebody who is. And you might be sad. And actually, as I said before, you can be different parts of them all in one day as well. So let's just take a moment to reflect. If you want to close your eyes, you can. You don't have to. But let's just have a little think. How has your day been so far? Has anything happened today that's put you in a particular mood? And maybe think about if how you're feeling. And actually, if you are in school and you've got people with you or in your family, how they might be feeling and how it might affect how they act. As always, at the end, I'm going to say a little prayer and you are very welcome to join in with it, but don't feel you have to. If you want to join in, you might quietly or out loud say Amen, or if not, just quietly listen so that those who want to join in can. Dear God, I thank you that you know me and all the boys and girls and parents and carers and teachers on the screen. You know us all very well and you love us. You understand how we feel and why. Please help us to be patient with other people even when they make us cross and help us to understand them and to be kind and caring. Amen. And as, one of, as a Christian, one of the things that gives me comfort is when I read the Bible, Jesus felt most of these things. There were times where he was really happy, times where he was tired and his followers were tired. There were even times where he was angry when people in God's house were using it in the wrong way, he turned all the tables over and told them off. So I find real comfort that actually when I read my Bible, that Jesus too felt the things we did. Now, you might believe that, you might believe something different, and that's OK. So we're just going to finish now. I'm going to blow out the candle and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.